Hello friends welcome to our channel today we are presenting class 3 chapter 9 soil and rocks we will do exercise question and answer at the end so please do watch the video till the end so let us start soil and rocks first of all complete the flow chart plants need these to grow so plants need first sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight second air a i r air third water w a t e r water and fourth soil s o i l soil so what is soil soil is the topmost layer of the earth it helps plants to grow by absorbing water and providing them nutrition take a fistful of soil and feel it do you feel some stickness or presence of grainy material soil is a mixture of minerals broken rocks water air decaying plants and other substances now soil formation history of soil millions of year ago there was no soil on the earth there were just huge pieces of rocks present on the earth now how is soil formed soil is formed from rocks the sun's heat rain and wind help the big rocks to break into smaller pieces this process is known as weathering weathering These smaller pieces are further broken down into soil particles. The size of these particles is different in different types of soils. The soil has air and water trapped inside along with very tiny pieces of rocks and other living and non-living things. The process of soil formation takes thousands of years. The type of soil formed is decided by the type of rock from which it is formed. we can see in this picture formation of soil first of all we have a huge rock and sun is shining then then there is rain which is breaking the rock and then wind also breaking the rock and then we can see a soil and some plants are growing in the soil so this is how formation of soil what soil contains many plants and animals die on the ground and eventually get buried in the soil some organisms die inside the soil too does not it harm the plants already growing in the soil no these dead organism make the soil fertile the remains of dead plants animals and insects in the soil form humus humus make the soil rich in minerals plants grow well in soil rich in humus let us study further to see what soil contains now activity to study what soil contains take a glass bottle with a wide mouth fill 3 fourths of the bottle with water go to the nearest garden and dig out some soil put this soil in the jar number 2 stir the soil in the water with a stick keep it aside and observe after 15 minutes you will see the formation of several layers in the bottle the bottom layer is made up of small stones called gravel as we can see in the picture above this is the layer of sand the sand particles are much smaller than gravel next is a layer of very small fine particles called clay The clay particles are so small that you cannot see them separately. On top, you see humus. So, in this picture, we can see number one, we put some soil in water. In second step, we stir it, and in third step, we can see different layers of soil. Now, are the different layers in the bottle of the same thickness? So, no, they are. not of the same thickness they are of different thickness activity to test if soil contains water aditya took some soil sample from his garden his mother put it in a pan covered the lid and put the pan on the lit burner 
She heated the pan for some time and removed the lid. Aditya noticed the formation of water droplets on the surface of the lid. So water in the soil turned into water vapor upon heating. This water vapor touched the cold lid to form water droplets. This shows that soil has water. Now third activity to test if soil contains air. Amira took some garden soil and put it in an empty glass jar. She poured water over the soil and noticed that air bubbles had started to form. The formation of air bubbles show the presence of air in soil. Now let us see types of soil. So there are three main types of soil, clay soil, sandy soil and loamy soil. Clay soil, this type of soil is made up of fine and smooth clay particles which stick to one another tightly, hence there is no space for water or air to pass through the particles of this soil. Therefore, it does not allow water to seep through it easily. Thus, clay soil holds a lot of water. It is soft and smooth to touch. It is used to make pots, toys and dias. Fern and ester plants can grow in clay soil. Name another plant that grows in clay soil. So, hosta is another plant that grows in clay soil. Sandy soil. We can see sandy soil in picture. Sandy soil is rough and coarse. Its particles do not stick to one another. Hence, air can pass through the particles very easily. Sandy soil cannot hold much water. We find this type of soil in desert beaches and river banks. There are very few plants which can grow in sandy soil. Baboon and palm trees can grow in this soil. Name another plant that grows in sandy soil. So, bean plants are another plants that grows in sandy soil. Next, we have loamy soil. Loam is a mixture of sand and clay. It can hold both air and water in it. It also contains a lot of humus. Therefore, it is considered very good for the growth of plants. Garden soil is loamy soil. Most plants grow well in this type of soil. For example, cucumber, onion and capsicum. We can see loamy soil. Now, checkpoint. Fill in the blanks. Dash is the topmost layer present on earth's surface. So humus is the topmost layer present on the earth's surface. Second, dash soil holds a lot of water. So clay soil holds a lot of water. So clay soil. Third, dash soil is a rough and coarse. So sandy soil is rough and coarse. Number four, dash is a fine mixture of sand and clay. So loam, L-O-A-M, loam is a fine mixture of sand and clay. Number 5. Dash plant grows in sandy soil. So baboon plant grows in sandy soil. Now importance of soil. Soil is very useful for farmers. Different types of soils are useful for growing different types of crops. Soil is also home to various animals and insects. Animals like earthworms, beetles, snails and ants live in soil. Earthworms make the soil fertile by contributing to humus formation. Crops grow better in fertile soil. Farmers need to plow the soil so that air and water can reach the roots of plants. As earthworms move through the soil, they dig tunnels that allow air and water to seep through the soil. Hence, plants grow in soil with ease. Earthworms are therefore called farmers' friends. Potters make pottery using clay soil. People also use mud to make kacha house. We can see in the picture earthworms plowing the soil, a potter using clay soil to make pots and a kacha house using mud. Now rocks. What are rocks? Rocks have a wide variety of uses. 
Rocks are also of different types. Granite is a very hard rock. It is used in floor tiles and kitchen slabs. Marble is used to make tiles, statues, buildings and monuments. Name an Indian monument that is made entirely of marble. So this is Taj Mahal situated in Agra. So Taj Mahal is made entirely of marble. With which rock is your classroom blackboard made of? So blackboard is made of various materials but we can write slate, slate stone. It is made of slate stone. Now keywords. First we have weathering. The process of breaking of big rocks into smaller pieces due to the sun's heat, rain and wind. Soil. A mixture of minerals, broken rocks, water, air, decaying plants and other substances. Clay soil. Soil made up of fine and smooth clay particles which stick to one another tightly. Sandy soil. Soil that is rough and coarse and is not sticky in nature. Loam. A fine mixture of sand and clay. Humus. The component of soil formed by dead remains of plants and animals, it makes the soil fertile. Now summary. Soil is the topmost layer of the earth's surface. It helps the plants to grow by providing them nutrition and absorbing water. Soil contains humus, rocks, pebbles, water and air. There are three main types of soils, clay soil, sandy soil and loamy soil. Soil is essential for both plant and animals. Rocks are of different types, for example, granite and marble. Now, exercise objective type questions. Number A, tick the correct answer. Number 1, soil that is soft and smooth to touch is dash soil. So, this is clay soil, which is soft and smooth to touch. Now question number 2. Which soil is rough and coarse and is not sticky in nature? So sandy soil is rough and coarse and is not sticky in nature. So option C is correct answer. Question number 3. This soil is used in the garden. So option are loamy, clay, sandy, all of these. So option A is correct. Loamy soil is used in the garden. So option A is correct. Question number 4. These are known as farmer's friends. Snails, beetles, ants, earthworms. So option D. Earthworms is correct. Earthworms are known as farmer's friends. So option D is correct. Question number 5. This component of soil provides nutrients to plants. Humus, rocks, pebbles, none of these. So option A. Humus is correct. Humus provide nutrients to plants. Question number B. Unscramble the letters and find the answers. The outermost layer of the earth is soil. S-O-I-L. Soil is outermost layer of the earth. Number 2. The process in which the sun's heat, rain and wind help big rock pieces to break into smaller pieces is known as weathering. W-E-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-G. Weathering. Number 3. The dead remains of plants, animals, insects form this. So this is humus. H-U-M-U-S. Humus. Number 4. The mixture of sand and clay is known as loam. L-O-A-M. Loam. Number 5. A natural flow is earthworm. E-A-R-T-H. Worm. W-O-R-M. Earthworm. So earthworm is also known as farmer's friend. Now next we have question number C. Complete the table. 
so we have clay soil sandy soil and loamy soil first of all we have texture clay soil had smooth and soft texture sandy soil is rough and coarse whereas loamy soil has mixed texture space and air clay soil do not have space and air whereas sandy soil has space and air and loamy soil have enough space and air now water clay soil cannot hold the water sandy soil cannot hold the water whereas loamy soil can hold the water plants fern and aster plants in clay soil babool and palm tree in sandy soil cucumber capsicum in loamy soil d complete the concept map soil is formed by weathering of rocks w e a t h e r i n g weathering of rocks in soil contain humus h u m u s humus second water w a t e r water and third air a i r air now we have short answer questions so question number 1 name two animals that live in soil so we have ants and earthworms live in soil second what is the role of humus in soil humus make the soil fertile third name three types of soils so we have clay soil sandy soil and loamy soil three types of soils name any four things that are present in soil so we have air water minerals pebbles present in soil why is loamy soil good for the garden because it holds water and air so it is good for garden name any two rocks and their uses so granite is used for flooring and marble is used for making statues so this is the end of the chapter soil and rocks so friends if you like the video then please like and share the video and do subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video and keep watching for more such videos thank you